you even know that rhinos exist in Asia too? How did Indian rhinos come back from near extinction? How are they different from well-known African rhinos? Stick around. The answer, and how they did it, is coming up. Welcome back to Zooscope. Today we're focusing on the greater one-horned, also known as Indian rhinoceros, its body, behavior, habitat, and the conservation fight that saved it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's meet this river plain heavyweight. The greater one-horned rhino, often called the Indian rhino, is found only in the Indian subcontinent, mainly in Assam and other parts of northeastern India and in southern Nepal. These rhinos prefer floodplain grasslands, riverine meadows, and adjacent woodlands where water and tall grass are abundant. Major strongholds include Kaziranga, Pobatora, Manas in India, and Chitwan in Nepal. Once hunted to the brink, concerted conservation efforts have driven a remarkable recovery. The global greater one-horned rhino population now stands at roughly 4,075 animals across India and Nepal, with India holding the large majority. Assam's Kaziranga National Park alone holds a very large share of that population and remains the species' most important stronghold. That recovery is one of conservation's brighter stories, but it's fragile and ongoing. Indian rhinos look like living suits of armor. Thick, gray-brown skin with deep folds and wart-like bumps creates an armor-plated appearance that helps protect them from thorns and bites. Their single horn sits on the snout and is made of keratin, the same protein as our hair and nails, not bone. Horns grow continuously and can be worn down by use. Adults are huge. Bulls commonly weigh well over 2,000 kilograms or around 4,400 pounds, while cows are lighter and body size, plus that folded skin, give them a truly tank-like silhouette. Greater one-horned rhinos are mainly grazers. They feed on grasses, but will also take aquatic plants, shoots, fruits, and occasional browse. Because they strip and trample vegetation and open channels in marshes, rhinos act as ecosystem engineers. Their grazing creates habitat mosaics that benefit many other species, from birds to ungulates. They also wallow and swim regularly, keeping themselves cool and making wallows that other animals use as water holes. If you're learning something new, hit that like and subscribe button. Next, we'll cover reproduction, threats, and the tactics that keep rhinos safe. Female Indian rhinos have a long gestation of about 15 to 16 months and typically give birth to a single calf every two to three years. Newborn calves are large, commonly around 58 to 70 kilograms or 128 to 154 pounds at birth, can stand within an hour and stay close to their mother for over a year as they learn grazing and wallowing skills. Females choose quiet, covered spots for calving and are fiercely protective because tiger predation on unguarded calves remains a real risk in some areas. Indian rhinos are largely solitary. Adult males hold territories that overlap with ranges of several females, and social groups form mainly around wallows and rich grazing areas. They are surprisingly good swimmers and often submerge in water to feed on aquatic plants, and their skin folds trap moisture from wallows, a practical cooling system. Vocal and chemical communication matter. Rhinos use snorts, growls, and scent marking to advertise presence and reproductive state. The main modern threats are illegal hunting for horn, habitat loss and fragmentation, human wildlife conflict, and periodic catastrophic floods in river plains. Rhino horn demand in illegal markets drives poaching, and even strong protected areas must remain vigilant. Seasonal flooding in Assam can cause mass mortalities in bad years and erode habitat. Continued anti-poaching patrols, rapid response teams, and landscape-level planning are essential to keep populations secure. Conservation strategies that have worked for Indian rhinos include strict protection in national parks, targeted translocations to establish new populations, for example from Kaziranga to Manas and other sites, community engagement programs, and intensive anti-poaching units. Programs like Indian Rhino Vision and international partnerships have helped move the species from a few dozen individuals to thousands. A huge win that shows what long-term PAF well-funded effort can achieve. But keeping that momentum requires sustained funding, habitat connectivity, and regional cooperation between India and Nepal. A few fun facts. Their horn isn't attached to the skull the way an antler is. It's a keratin sheath that grows from skin. Rhinos can often be seen with oxpeckers and egrets on their backs removing ticks. 
and despite their bulk, they can run surprisingly fast for short bursts and are excellent swimmers. Also, Kazaranga's rhino recovery is viewed worldwide as a flagship conservation success, even as the species faces ongoing risks. Greater one-horned rhinos are living testaments to what protection and people working together can accomplish. Huge, armored, and vital to river plain ecosystems. Which rhino fact surprised you most? The birth weight, the armor skin folds, or the horn made of keratin? Tell us below, make sure you're subscribed, and support the parks that keep these giants roaming. Stay curious, and bye-bye.